Sally Ride is famous, of course, as the first American woman to fly in space, as the first female astronaut. But to me, and to all of us in her astronaut class, many of whom are here today, she was just Sally, a very bright, very quiet, and very determined young woman, and a friend to all of us. Like another famous astronaut who left us this year, Neil Armstrong, Sally was a very private person who refused to cash in on her fame. She handled the attention and the pressure with grace and dignity, and all of the, as all the first six women did. Sally always took her responsibility as a role model for millions of young girls quite seriously, and for that I'm immensely grateful. We had dinner last night with our six-year-old uh, twin granddaughters, Abby and Anna and they informed me that they were studying space in their first grade this week. And they told me about Neil Armstrong and Sally Wright. For some reason, Abby had trouble pronouncing Neil Armstrong's name. She thought that was one name, Neil Armstrong. But they had no trouble pronouncing Sally Wright's name. Anna asked me if I'd ever met Neil Armstrong or Sally Wright. When I said I had, she said I was very lucky. Someday, when they're old enough to understand, I'll explain just how lucky I was, and indeed how fortunate our nation has been to have Sally among us, leading the way and setting the example for generations of young people. You know, back in 1978, um, obviously what caught my attention when that class was, uh, was announced was it was the first class with women and minorities. and really um, kind of opened up a whole new era in the astronaut corps. And uh, like many other women about my age at that time, it was a hugely important milestone to find that there was a career that was now open to women that had been closed before. And so for Sally and Judy and Kathy and three others who are here with us today, Shannon, Ray, and Anna, um, they, uh, they made news across the country and uh, all six of them really inspired many, many women since then. One of the key things she did was starting Sally Ride Science. Uh, we still have a problem in this country of trying to inspire uh, young women to be interested in technical things like math and science and engineering. And I believe that uh, Sally's efforts there will be uh, probably long remembered um, more so of, of more importance than actually being on the first flight, but being on the first flight allowed her to have the credibility to do that. Sally's life was cut too short, but she made her mark on this earth. She, for her gender, for the NASA, for the country, for the world. And she'll ever, forever be remembered for that, but she is missed. And so we gather on this warm summer day in this space surrounded by generations of heroes. With you, we hold up Sally as one of your own, as she was ours. With you, we mourn her untimely loss. With you, we say goodbye, and we celebrate her life, which was, as Cripp said, so well lived. We have uh, Sally's sister and some of the family members. If they have any words, uh, we'll put them on the horn right here for real quick.
Yeah, and I have a couple words first and foremost to say, hey, uh, you know, today's a special day, a good remembrance of Sally who uh, paved the way for so many of us. I don't think I would be here um, without her having done the things she did, so we just wanted to say thanks. <laughs> Press the button. <laughs> That's really nice of you to say, and it looks like you're having as much fun as Sally had from what I what are the stories that I heard? I'm sure they were wonderful. She was a wonderful personality. Unfortunately, I only had the opportunity to meet her sort of from a distance, uh, watching her talk to a bunch of kids, a uh, very dynamic, amazing personality that got so many of us in the program today. And like I said, I wouldn't be up here for a second time in space, me and Aki, enjoying this wonderful space station without people, you know, like her and her specifically, you know, inspiring us to uh, to take on this type of a profession, and particularly at the time when, you know, there wasn't very many women out there doing this type of stuff. Um, she really made, the, made us think that we can do anything we want to do. Thank you so much for saying that. And, um, you know, I've got my kids here, and... And um, they <laughs> hello, and they they really appreciate these stories that they've heard in the last day or two about about Sally, and uh, we appreciate it. And we have a little we have a little something for you. Hang on, okay, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sunny. Happy birthday. That's awesome, and you guys aren't supposed to know that. Nobody's supposed to know that. I, I, I thought when we came to space, we reversed aging, and so we didn't really have birth. We were getting younger. Isn't that the case? I think that's true. You're, you're younger now. 